this is what you look like when you wake up super early in the morning don't do your hair brush your teeth and just jump right into work i go anywhere anywhere with you because you feel my mind or you feel good morning dj fam we have missed you guys how is everyone doing we're doing good, we're doing good. sounds good i'm just having my iced tea and some yogurt for breakfast i'm pretty hungry you guys i've been uh making fun of jose for drinking black coffee but i've been having it for two days straight and i low-key actually like really like it so it's the best thing in the world i might just like you know continue drinking it <clears throat> just because okay tmi i was very constipated these past few days and i couldn't figure out a way to like go to the bathroom and every time i would google it it'll just say like drink more water or drink prune juice or like just basic stuff and then i didn't like like i had not asked jose like if he had any tips and then i did and he was like eat a banana and drink black coffee and i'll make you go to the bathroom and i did and i went right away and it really did help my stomach feel a lot better so yeah, that's a little tip for anybody that's been constipated. The worst morning ever yesterday. But I was wearing a white tracksuit and I didn't even realize that I was wearing white until I posted my video and people were like, you're wearing a white tracksuit with your period. <laughs> it didn't even like cross my mind. I don't know. I never think of stuff like that because I use tampons and they're pretty protective. Man, this morning was just... <laughs> All the info you could get out there. Jose's been feeling a little bit. No. Not a little bit, a lot. He's actually had a By fever. The way, there was one comment under the video yesterday that said Jose feel better, so thank you. Uh huh. I got a boob job, you guys. If you haven't seen my new video. Well, if you haven't seen it now, everyone knows. Even the neighbors. Uh, oh my god! I was so loud, and the windows open too. Yep. Okay. Oh my god. She's Well, nobody knows because I, I didn't leave the house for like a full week. And Maggie Boy didn't know and now he knows. Maggie Boy has been so protective of me these past few days. Can you please call me here? Mm -mm. This is how real it's gonna get in the vlog channel. Can't do anything about it. You're literally blending into the cabinets. <laughs> so yeah, about the boob gate. We did consult with both doctors, with the surgeon and with your, what do you call that? Your my wife. PCP, my primary care physician, and the doctor who's going to be seeing me throughout my whole pregnancy journey. And they did tell us that one thing does not have to do with the other, so her getting a breast augmentation surgery would not affect in any way her chances of having a baby, number one. Also, it would not affect her chances of breastfeeding, number two. Yes, because... I didn't go really big like if you want to see my boobs you'll see it in a little bit when I get ready and I wear like a normal shirt but it literally looks like I'm just wearing a pusher bra but I'm not wearing a bra at all because when I went to get my surgery I told my doctor I don't want to have big boobs I literally just want my boobs to be proportional with the rest of my body and I want it to seem like I'm wearing a pusher bra but I'm not going to be wearing a bra you know what I mean so even if I do get pregnant, which I'm sure we will, you know, soon, but um, when I do get pregnant and my boobs start to grow a little bit more, it won't really affect me because I didn't go huge and my body is and already also, so small and frank. The surgeon told us that it has to do with the procedure of how you got it done. So there are some people that get it done through their armpits, through their nipple. Yeah. Or under the muscle, which is what you got. And I know a lot of people were like giving their feedback and their personal experiences. The only thing the surgeon and the PCP said was that your breasts may grow a little bit, but her breasts were so small to begin with. And even with the implant, they're still remaining small that he said it may even help with making her breasts look more natural after the breast augmentation. Exactly. So, I mean, I'm. I'm not really worried. I'm completely happy with my choice, with my decision. We did so much research before even considering to do this, and this was already planned way before we had even announced that we were prepping for pregnancy. But yeah, that was all. Like we were reading the comments, most of them were like good and positive, and people were like, "Yes, they look so natural. I couldn't even tell if you had not said anything." And, and that's what you were going for, to you know? Yeah. To basically look 
like what you would look like with your push-up bra, but natural. Yeah, I wore, I went out, when was it yesterday? And I didn't wear a bra and I was like, whoa, like people actually do this. I was walking this. around, I was covering. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I was wearing a sweater for most of the day, but like, even still, like I just felt so like free, you know, but my boobs are still in place. So yeah, we vlogged the entire process. So if you guys want a video on it, from selecting the size, trying on different sizes, to the actual day of surgery, then we can put that up on both channels, actually. Yeah, I definitely think I, well, before I even like mentioned anything on social media, I told Jose, I was like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to like promote plastic surgery. I don't want it to be a topic of discussion on any of my socials but then i was like you know what like you guys see every aspect of my life i don't think I you think guys would good. have noticed if she wouldn't show any skin because it's exactly the same size as her push yeah i like it i'm so happy with them <clears throat> but I think on they the look other great. hand you like she would get a lot of like being comments about her having small boobs yeah and now there's people saying like oh you, should, you need a boob job the same people that were saying bad things exactly but um yeah that's our little recap of like that situation the first few days was a little bit about pain and then after that it was more about the discomfort so i'm having a hard time like lifting my arms and just like moving my upper body even like my posture is so bad when we were walking out the other day, Jose was like, why are you walking like that? You like, your back is like conscious. You guys like, should have seen this. It was like, she was dying. Yeah, it was, it was bad. I think you were milking it. No, I wasn't. it wasn't. The pain was bad. They the gave nurse me told me, she's like, I cannot give her anything else. Like, mm -hmm. the, what we gave her would knock down an elephant. I think she's been a little I have low pain tolerance, so it's not my fault. Anyways. She was like, you need to go. Uh, take her home, deal with her. I'm gonna go take a shower and uh, I'll see you later. So I'm currently at the nail salon and we're gonna get rid of the long nails, you guys. We're going back to short. Wait, I wanna show you because my actual nails are super long and even though they're thin since I've been, you know, growing them out in my hair, I feel like it would just be better to leave it like that. So I was just walking out of the nail salon and I was carrying my clutch and I have that Saint Laurent clutch that's super sturdy and I poked my left <laughs> Oh my god, it's it was so painful. It's the first time that I felt pressure on the boobs and oh, that was very very painful. Oh, thank God Jose is here. Who put pressure on the boobs? Looking fresh. Oh, hold on. Whoa, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so let me tell you. <laughs> oh. So I'm walking out the nail salon with the bag and I accidentally poke my boob with a clutch and this is so hard and then like put pressure into my left boob. Oh, I felt like... Like I just got electrocuted on my left boob. You're messing around too much. I thought you were gonna do that. Chill out. Wow, you look so nice. Jose just got his shape up. <laughs> you look really nice. Like you cleaned up. Wow. Getting ready for a date night? I don't know about. What's going on? Spill the tea. <laughs> oh. I can't wait to get home and like. What, are you gonna take them off? Massage my boobs. <laughs> A boob massage. Did you tell them what your sister asked you? <laughs> my sister had texted me and she was like, How are the boobs? And I was like, Oh, they're good. So I sent her a picture and she's like, Are you gonna keep that size? <laughs> and I was like, Yeah, this is, this is it. What a joke. This is the size here. Imagine you could just like unzip and stick in the other side. The future, I'm telling you, it's gonna it's gonna be a thing. You know what I want? I want some Starbucks. Oh. I want a mango dragon fruit lemonade. What? Yes. Can we make that happen? Or you wanna? Gonna work on it. Are you gonna have that for dinner? Um. Well, I was gonna ask you, what do you want to have for dinner? Damn, I still haven't picked up my soup from the cleaners. I was gonna tell you they're gonna keep that suit. That's a special suit. I hope they keep it. Damn, that was expensive. 
Yeah, exactly. They can't just keep it. No, not the suit. It was expensive to clean it. How much? So I sent in two suits to be clean, dry clean. What do you think would be a normal price for that? Sixty-eight dollars. Sixty-eight dollars. Yeah. I was thinking more like twenty, thirty dollars. It's a suit. Gotta put work two into suits. that. Eighty-four dollars. That's not bad. Are you crazy? That's I what, mean, that's what's holding me back. <laughs> From what? From picking it up. The suit was like two hundred dollars itself. Jesus, I'm gonna go have to pick that up, you guys, because if not, Jose's gonna leave that there. That's an even train. Let them keep it. <laughs> let's call it. Let's call it a day. Oh my God, you guys. I almost committed to a burgundy for two weeks. That was holding me back. The whole time I was so stressed. He was like, you know, cleaning my nails. What's a burgundy? Removing the colors. Like a dark, rich oh, burgundy. plum. Burgundy color? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I thought that was cold work for something. No, it was the nail color. I don't know, I, I've I know never you. committed to a dark nail polish. I don't know what you kids be talking about these days. This is what a... I am such a reckless driver. You better not get used to it because when you go back to New York... When I go back to New York, I'm going to get pulled over every two seconds. Wait, first of all, last time we went to New York, Jose drove. Mm -hmm. That was quite an experience, let me tell you. Why? He completely forgot how to follow rules. Yeah, that's true. Like, I was like, you need to like slow down because this is not LA. Yeah, like in LA, I don't see a cop for days. So I just like make U-turns. Oh my God, you guys. Drive on the wrong side of the street. We went to Jersey and uh, we went to this place and they had like deers in their houses. And I was like, this is so cute. Is there a light on the car? Yeah, this one right here. The middle one. Wow. What were you? I was wondering what the hell was holding me back in life. It wasn't the suit? No, it was the light. Oh God. So I just finished editing some of the photos we took earlier today, so I want to show them to you guys because I love how they turned out. I was giving Jose a hard time. Always. Don't let him hear me because he's going to be like, I yeah, I know you're always giving me a hard time. You should have seen her huffing and puffing. Do it with the phone. No, camera. But we got it done as a team, and I'm so happy with how the photos turned out. You know how many photos we had in total? 275. And only five made the cut. So this is the first one. And I love it. It looks so good. And then let me show you the second one. This is a different background. The third one, is this the same one? Oh no, it's a different one. Wait, I'm going back. I'm going up. Okay. This is the first one. Second one, a different background. Third one in motion. Ooh, getting some blog post names. <laughs> Those boots are so comfortable. Like these are the first soft booties that I own that are like comfortable to walk in. Um, we walked around Studio City, and then I went to the nail salon, and I wasn't tired at all. Like they're so comfy, and they feel really tight around the legs because I have skinny legs, and that's another issue is like finding, you know soft booties that actually hug your legs but look how pretty makeup outfit everything turned out so good and then we also have some close-up shots we have the boots and then we also have the bag look how pretty oh i have so many outfits this color that i'm going to be shooting the next few days i'm going to try and do like a row on my instagram of just like this color and then i'll go to nude and maybe do different colors so i'm starting off with this olive one 